Donovan, I'll ask you, uh, just from your point of view, what happened from being up 25 points, going down? We stopped playing defense. Um, we stopped getting back. You know, offense got stagnant. They made adjustments, and we didn't make the right adjustments back. Um, we'll, we'll watch the film and, and figure out uh, what went wrong. But from, from my, my uh, analysis right after the game, we just stopped getting back in transition, and um, they, just, they just fed off of that. Rudy, you picked up your fourth foul with nine minutes left in the third quarter. Um, first of all, what did you see happen on those on those four fouls leading up to that? And and I, I you don't have to break them down individually, but uh, and then how much do you think that impacted the game? Uh, yeah, I, I got in foul trouble early in the game. Um, had a few stupid fouls that were on me. Had a fourth foul that was uh, invisible, and uh, that's on me. You know, I got a. Be smarter and uh, and avoid the, those first three fouls and and don't put my team in this position. Donovan, kind of in that same vein, you talked about the defensive breakdowns. How much did you guys feel it out on the court not having Rudy there? Um, uh, it showed, you know, when it gets to the basket, you know, um, it's a different feeling when you don't have big fella back there. But um, even so, yeah, uh, you know, we, it's it's hard when you put all the pressure on on him. You know, it's eventually. You know, we've had success, but eventually it's not going to work. So we got to play better defense as guards ourselves. You know, myself letting letting Russ get to the basket every once, let him shoot. You know, um, just taking more pride defensively. Um, but yeah, it definitely hurts when you when you have big fella. You know, um, not in the game. Yeah, Jay, you and Joe had a bunch of three pointers early in the game, first second quarter. That dried up to a large degree in the second half. Was it better defense by the Thunder? Was it what what happened there? I mean, yeah, they made an adjustment <clears throat> and we didn't adjust as a unit uh, to continue to get shots, not for myself, but for our team period. When they went on the run, we didn't get looks that we wanted to get down the stretch. So uh, they made adjustment. We didn't make adjustments on the fly uh, and it cost us the game. Uh, Jay, uh, just from your postseason experience with Boston, is the concept of momentum going in between from game to game, is that a little overplayed or is that something you guys are might be a little worried about going into game six? I mean, we're going home, so we're, we'll be fine. Hey, Donovan, uh, Alex Abrinerson hasn't played much in the series overall, but he played a lot of fourth quarter minutes and was fairly good defensively. What did you guys see out of him? Were you a little surprised he was out there as much as he was? Um. You know, he's a great player, um, but, um, you know, he can't you know, let him get a three in the corner, you know, and gets his confidence going. But, you know, um, uh, hats off to him, play good defense, and um, let's make adjustments. All right, cool. Uh, thanks. Now, just, I was going to ask Ricky, Westbrook and George weren't terribly effective through 28 minutes, but then they got red hot the last – 20 minutes of the game. What happened with Westbrook and George? I think they got 50 something points those last 20 minutes combined. Oh, well, those two players are all star. They have a lot of pride, and uh, they're not gonna give up easy. And uh, we knew that. We have a lot of respect for them, but at the same time, we know that we didn't play well tonight. Um, we did for like the first half and the first two or three minutes of the of the third quarter, but um, it's on us. I think we need to do a better job. Uh, of course, um, you got to give them credit. They made a lot of shots. They took the pride and, and forced the game six. But we're going home. We got to be strong and we confidence.